Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to another vlog from Rides UK. Uh, thank you for uh, watching the Fancy Island vlog last week when we were at Ingle Mills checking the, uh, the park out for its reopening on the 4th. Uh, another 1k view video, so thanks very much for that guys and all the new subscribers. Thank you very much for joining the channel. Join at the right time as we reboot the 2020 season. Uh, like I said last week, it's, uh, it is a season reboot and the second video uh, on the channel as we prepare to uh, open the parks up again and see the fairs come back. We are at a very special park, one that I've not been to before but the ride line up here is amazing. Uh, it's a proper hidden gem of a park. I've just had a quick walk around and yeah this is definitely a park that I'll be coming back to when it, uh, when it reopens soon. We are at, in case you've not already guessed, we are at Ocean Beach in South Shields. Uh, yeah, we're in uh, South Shields. It's a gorgeous little amusement park on the seafront. Uh, lots of rides here, lots of headline rides here as well. Um, like I said, the ride line up here is amazing for this season. Uh, the reason it's attracted uh, me personally, um, Ice Jet's here, UK's number one Matterhorn. Uh, just had a quick chat with Terence and Bess, so we'll get you some uh, footage. They're still building up at the moment, uh, so we'll, uh, we'll check in on them later. But also, the UK's first first Huss break dance in many, many years is here at the moment. So we'll get you some footage of that at uh, a later stage. But we've had permission from the park to film, so uh, thanks guys for that. And uh, we'll definitely be back once uh, once you open again on the 4th of July. But uh, yeah, in terms of thrill rides, there's lots of thrill rides here. You've got the Freak Out Spring Break. Uh, like I say, you've got the Huss break dance. Um, and ice jets here as well uh, but we'll take you on a little bit of a walk around as well and uh, we'll get back to you shortly so in terms of reopening the park obviously they're going through the same uh, process that a lot of other parks are going through to reopen following the government guidelines in terms of social distancing Obviously the hand sanitizer stations are positioned all across the park. There's a huge amount of sanitizer stations which is great to see. Uh, social distancing in the queue lines as well. Uh, but what we wanted to do, we covered a lot of that in the Fancy Island vlog uh, last week. It's the same guidelines that all parks will be uh, adopting and they're probably adopting it in pretty similar ways. Uh, the wristbands and tickets, what we're seeing across parks, are being phased out uh, in terms of a more contactless uh, fun card system. So they've done the same here at Ocean Beach. So there'll be a fun car system. Uh, if you've been to Southall Pleasureland, you'll know the similar sort of thing that, uh, that uh, I'm on about. So they'll have the card system here and they're offering discounts on uh, groups using the one card, uh, which will help them with loading the rides uh, and maintaining the social distancing between groups. Uh, so it's great to see here. I mean, in terms of the opening hours that they're looking at, they're looking at around about 10 or 11 till 7 o'clock, uh, but if the demand is there, they will open later, which is great. Uh, it's great to see parks like that, uh, where if, if the sun's out and people are here and they want to come, they will open the park later, which is uh, which is great. I'm just uh, looking at this amazing looking wave swing here. It, uh, it's absolutely stunning wave swinger. It's huge as well. really freshly painted as well. I mean, all the rides look great here. The park looks fantastic. It's all clean and tidy. Uh, they're also gearing up for uh, for opening day. But um, yeah, in terms of the uh, the rest of the ride lineup, uh, what we've got is a uh, classic grass, grass cutter twist uh, here. So you'll have seen these at many parks over the years, but uh, this one's got the, uh, the additional lighting package. Again, we've got the uh, hand sanitizer station here as well. So, um, Plenty of hand sanitizer around the park. And then just talking about the contactless uh, fun card system, you can see the sign for it here. So it's just a tap and ride system, really straightforward. And it uh, does what it says on the tin. It uh, does away with the need for tickets and cash and uh, wristbands and all that sort of stuff. But uh, we'll try and get you an example of, uh, of one of those fun cards later on. Like I say, we have got permission from the park to film. Um, so it's, uh, it's really good of them to uh, let us uh, just have a wander around, see what's here and uh, let you guys uh, see us through the footage. But uh, yeah, this uh, twister looks really good. I think I'm right in saying there used to be a very similar one. Uh, just looking at the, the cars themselves, 
There used to be a similar one at um, Blackpool, uh, which then moved to Southport, because I remember operating one similar to this in uh, Southport back in the, the mid-90s. They are really fast rides. They don't look it, but they can certainly get some speed up. Uh, and we've got one at uh, New Brighton as well, at uh, Adventureland. But it's good to see these classic rides being maintained. Um, yeah, definitely coming back on this when it's, uh, when it's all back open again. Yeah, in terms of the park, it is uh, it is such a stunning, stunning little park. It's, um, like I say, it's really clean and tidy. The location of it is perfect. It's right on the beach. There's plenty of fish and chips and stuff around. Um, you won't go short of fish and chip places uh, around here. There's about six or seven within uh, about a minute's walk from where I am right now. So uh, yeah, it's uh, plenty here. Really good quality cafes and stuff like that that I've seen already. And the views from the beach, which I'll get you later on, are fantastic. It's a really nice, pretty place, South Shields. But uh, yeah, we've got the uh, Dodgem track here. So it's uh, all getting ready to go. And then you've got your sort of juveniles and your arcade. You've got your arcades down the back there. And uh, more juvenile rides. So it's, it's, uh, it's really good that they've actually opened the park to allow people to walk around. It's uh, something that's quite rare these days. Uh, a lot of parks will be just sort of closed up and, uh, and locked off, but uh, this place is, even though it's closed, there's so much life around here. It's around the front, it's absolutely round. Uh, around the front, people enjoying the uh, the sunshine and burgers and uh, and all the rest of it and the food. So obviously, in terms of the uh, the thrill rides, obviously you've got the classic uh, classic waltzer. Uh, looks like a Maxwell machine, but uh, great graphics on it. And then you've got the uh, you've got the juveniles, juvenile rides. All the rides look really well presented here. And uh, you might just see peeking out the back, Ice Jet. We'll go and catch up with Terence and Beth and see how they're getting on. It's like I say, Ice Jet in the middle of its build-up. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot to it. Uh, there is a lot to it. So obviously this is the uh, the inside of the ride. Um, you can see where uh, this where the magic happens. So many lights, obviously, that go into this. Um, we'll definitely be coming back here in a few weeks' time to ride this again. Any opportunity, any opportunity at all. And uh, a bit of geek footage, geek footage from the truck. Like I say, it's our, uh, it is the UK's number one matter and there's no shadow of a doubt about that. I say it every time, because every time it's true. And it, uh, it just looks amazing, absolutely amazing, especially in the sunshine. Um, not really ridden it that much during the day, it's always been night time. But uh, yeah, can't wait for this to warm to open. Obviously, uh, ice jet well into the build-up now. Uh, Going to keep quiet because obviously the guys are busy. 
Uh, we appreciate them letting us uh, have a little look around here. So you can see the moving heads there. All the moving heads are in place. Uh, all the top section of lights are in place as well. Uh, the outer sections of the ice light, uh, the ice uh, decoration there, a lot of that's been replaced new for this year. Um, obviously, the, the amount of lights this thing has is just incredible. Uh, it's just absolutely incredible the amount of things that uh, go into this. But, uh, obviously, you can see the bare bones of the track, uh, something you don't normally see uh, when it's fully built up. You can see the trailer mounts uh, there as well. But, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely get yourself to uh, sales to Ocean Beach. Like I say, with um, the ice jet here, uh, the breakdowns here, um, they've got obviously the KMG Freakout, uh, really well presented ride, spring break. That's uh, a gorgeous machine. Uh, these three rides here together, uh, I've not seen anywhere yet that has that sort of lineup. Um, so in such a, in such a, a sort of one of the smaller parks, um, don't get me wrong, it's an absolutely gorgeous park and I'll definitely be coming back here, um, but in one of the smaller parks to have a ride, up, ride line up like this is stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, like I said, they'll have a fun card system. Uh, there'll be no tickets, no wristbands, uh, contactless fun card system um, and then you'll just scan to go on the ride. Uh, they'll maintain social distancing on the rides as like the other parks. You'll be able to sit with your uh, people in your own group um, and then they'll, they'll leave rows for example on the, uh, on the, the, the family coasters uh, and rows of seats for example on the wave swinger. As well, I imagine they would leave rows in between people who are not in the same group. But uh, yeah, it, uh, the sun is just scorching here today. It's such a nice day to visit here. Really pretty part, really pretty part. And uh, you can see the uh, Caterpillar Coaster. Everyone's favourite. Uh, over the fence, there we go. And that's all, uh, all nicely painted, ready to go. And then obviously you've got your um, outside every ride, you've got the hand sanitizer station. There, so we're, uh, I brought my own hand sanitizer today. So I'm not touching anything and uh, I've got my own sort of sanitizer as well. You've got to keep safe, everyone's going to do the part, and everyone really has to take responsibility. Uh, so when you do visit these places, you've got to have the responsibility yourself of obviously using the, the sanitizer stations provided, listening to uh, instructions that the staff give you, and uh, having a good time. But uh, yeah, in a couple of weeks time this place will be, uh, will be busy again, and it's good to see the parks doing that. Like I say, we were at Fancy Island last, last week at uh, Inglemales, they're gearing up for uh, for reopening as well. Uh, we're going to be uh, at other parks. Blackpool Pleasure Beach obviously announced that they're opening on the 4th of July. Uh, it's all 99.9%. Uh, depends on government approval, but I'm sure uh, that'll happen. And these places can open again uh, because it's been a long few months for them. It really has been a long few months for them. Um, and we need a bit of fun, don't we? We do all need a bit of fun now and again, especially this year. So yeah, you can see the uh, twister. So we've got uh, all of the uh, fun card chop and play. All the fun card signs are up. And uh, they've obviously got the uh, with the protective covers on, uh, where possible most of the rides now, just to protect them from the elements, because it is a coastal uh, amusement park, and they do get uh, battered, as you know, with Blackpool. They get battered more than most parks with the uh, the sea air and stuff. So it's good to see that uh, they're all on. And uh, yeah, I keep coming back to this wave swinger. This is uh, 
This is such a nice machine, this. I'm not sure whether it's a Lamborghini one. Um, I'll have to double check that. But the, the paintwork on it, I'd love to see a little bit night. Hopefully we'll get some, uh, some night rides at some point in the, uh, in the near future. I think, uh, I think a lot of parks are looking to open uh, and exploring the options of opening later. Uh, obviously with Blackpool Pleasure Beach there, extend the season completely. Um, I think a lot of parks, potentially like this, will do the same um, because we're all itching to get out, they're all itching to, uh, to open the businesses again and keep busy and try and recoup some of the, that money that they've lost over the season. So I can see places like this ex maybe extending the season if there's a need for it, but I think there will be a demand for it. I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest, if we had announcements from Merlin about Thorpe and Alton and maybe Chessington uh, and Legoland as well about them extending their seasons because I think it's a no-brainer to be honest it's a no-brainer uh, because who doesn't love night rides even though it's colder uh, once the summer's over I think people won't uh, won't want, want a short season and the parks won't want one either uh, another shot there of spring break KMG goodness and there's your geek shot guys there you go So this is the first time I've seen a, a real genuine horse break dance. Uh, it's the only one in the UK. I think it's been the only one in the UK for a long time. I think they used to travel a long time ago. Uh, but uh, yeah, they've uh, disappeared out now. But uh, yeah, absolutely stunning example of a machine. Well worth the journey for that. See the mounted uh, ops box for the break dance there. Look at that horse goodness there. Freshly painted, horse logo. There's the trailer mount. So fresh, such a fresh job they've done on it. There she is. Boom, there's your break dance. So the park's starting to close now. Um, obviously it was closed, but uh, work's stopping for the, uh, for the day in a lot of uh, places, and the uh, cafes are starting to shut. So we'll get you a last look around the park as the sun sets in South Shields. Absolutely stunningly gorgeous night. Really gorgeous night. Really impressed with this park. Yeah, definitely really impressed. Um, it's gonna be one of those parks that I come back to possibly even on the 4th. Uh, for opening day and we'll come and do a vlog. Uh, we'll obviously contact them in advance and uh, and see if they'll have us back. But uh, yeah, made to feel really welcome today by the uh, by the management here. Um, such a good uh, good looking part. They're all working extra hard to get it ready. Um, it looks ready now, to be honest. Um, it really does. And it's such a 
it's such a good location, really such a good location this place. But uh, as the sun sets, some gorgeous views around these rides. And I keep coming back to it. Hashtag POV coming for this one. Yeah, hopefully we'll get some night rides when uh, when the park does open. And uh, yeah, definitely wish them all the best. Wish the park definitely all the best this season. It's uh, it's a cracking park with a cracking ride lineup. Like I said at the start, uh, you've got the uh, the Frog Hoppers, you've got a KMG Freakout, you've got the UK's number one Matterhorn, you've got uh, the UK's brand new uh, Hoss Break Dance, um, you've got. Uh, Super Duper Dodgems, Awesome Wave Swinger, Crash Test, Log Plume, Caterpillar, plenty of juvenile rides, yeah, it's, uh, it's a cracking place. Uh, and when the sun's out, it's really got that seaside amusement park feel, which is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But uh, yeah, you've got a really good selection of juvenile rides here as well. Um, bit of geek shop there's one for the geeks there you go guys um, great to see Terence and Beth again uh, they're working hard on Ice Jet obviously um, looking at build up being completed tomorrow um, so they're going through the cleaning procedures like all the rides here they'll be uh, constantly cleaned after every cycle uh, you've got the social distancing in the queue lines you've got the hand sanitization units they're everywhere absolutely everywhere you've got the tap and play front car system um, which is coming to replace the token system that they currently had. Um, so yeah, these guys look proper on the ball with uh, with getting on with things. And like I said, the park looks fantastic, really fantastic. Oh, we've got the Miami, we've got Miami here as well. So that ride lineup just over there, I mean, just in that shot there, you've got the Miami, a horse break dance, ice jet, KMG freak out, frog hopper, wave swinger and classic uh, grass cutter twist down the end there and really good uh, good lighting packages on everything as well it'd be a really part to see at night love to see at night um, hopefully they get some late openings as well um, but uh, yeah definitely a place to come so if you uh, if you're in the area definitely come to uh, ocean beach it's uh, it's a really nice got a nice feel to it even though the rides are closed at the moment it's been a really nice day i've had a while walking around here actually um, it's a really friendly place, really open place, right on the beach. Has a stunning promenade just on, just on the other side of the arcade. That you, you'll, uh, I'll take you down there in a second. But uh, yeah, it's a stunning seafront, and uh, the actual beach here is just awesome. I, I love it here. I think uh, super duper dodgems, no tokens. There we go. It's good to see these uh, classic rides preserved. Can't be a good grass cutter twist. And uh, like I said, the flags are uh, flags are all up as well around here. So it's a nice, happy place. It's uh, it's got that vibe about it. I'm really impressed actually. Uh, having not been here before, it's uh, it's really good to. Um, to see a place that has that traditional seaside amusement park feel. Like I say, it's reminiscent of sort of uh, Pleasureland in the uh, mid 90s. Um, it's just got that vibe about it, which is it's really nice. You know, it's going to be a good day, I can feel that. Um, so we will be back. Uh, we will be back for a full vlog from the park. Um, that will be more than likely um, aiming for the fourth. Aiming for opening day, we'll be back here. Uh, but we'll contact the park, see if they're happy with us doing on-ride filming, etc, etc. And uh, yeah, we'll let you know. Keep an eye on our socials, on Facebook and Instagram, Ride UK, all one word. Uh, if you followed us on there in the last month or so, and if you're new to uh, the Facebook page, thanks very much for, uh, for liking and following us on Instagram. Uh, much appreciated. And if you followed us on uh, YouTube and subscribed, thank you very much. Um, in the last month, we've had a lot of new subscribers, so welcome to the channel. Um, Hope you're enjoying the video videos that we've done at uh, Fancy Island and Blackpool. And if you've not, if you are new to the channel, uh, give us a uh, give us a like and uh, and subscribe. And catch us on the videos. We've been to Leeds, obviously Leeds Valentines. We were at uh, Silcox in Lee just before lockdown. 
and we'll be back with Silcox wherever they're dropping to uh, next and also Wallace's uh, fairs which is our local fair uh, in the northwest but uh, what I'll do now is give you some final shots final shots of uh, ice jet so it's absolutely uh, stunning evening here this evening really nice evening and uh, I think the final word for this beast Absolutely stunning. So yeah, we've had a great day here at Ocean Beach. Um, thanks very much once again if you've uh, recently subscribed. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Uh, plenty more content to come over the next few weeks and months. Uh, thanks to the park for letting us film today. Uh, we're looking to be back on the 4th when they do actually reopen. Uh, if you've uh, not checked out the Facebook page, check us out on Facebook and Instagram, uh, Rides UK, all one word. Uh, all the photographs from today and obviously where we're going to next are all on there. And obviously the YouTube channel, like I say. Um, really pleased with how that's going. I um, hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, you seem to be. So uh, yeah, this is the uh, second video in the rebooted 2020 season. And uh, we will see you in the next vlog. Bit of husk goodness.